Hello, boys and girls. My name is Hansi, and welcome back to another episode of Oxygen Not Included. I thought I would wait a few cycles before recording the the next uh, episode. So um, six cycles have passed, and uh, I wanted to pass them in the hope that this iron volcano becomes dormant. As you can see. It did not and this is because something else popped up and it's our air cooling system um, it's broken and thinking about it it's also quite obvious why it is broken if we have a look at the uh, temperature in here the steam is at around 125 degrees Celsius and these thermoregulator are made of gold amalgam and they start breaking at 125 uh, degrees Celsius and that's exactly what has happened so what we will do is once again um, we deconstruct the wall here I'm not sure if there's something behind the wall so let's only break the tiles they will get in quite a bit toasty uh, steam will turn into water as it pours out but luckily uh, our seal here will not be broken and then we will deconstruct all these regulators instead of uh, repairing them um, because they would just break again And then we can replace them with new ones made from steel that dips in a bit into our steel reserves but as soon as we have the iron volcano uh, going uh, we probably don't have to worry about steel anymore because then the only ingredients that hinders us to produce more steel is lime and uh, a refined carbon. Refined carbon should not really be an issue because that comes out of coal and we are pretty uh, good stuck up with coal the lime that's more of a problem there are different sources how we can get lime uh, we can uh, turn poke shell mold uh, into lime um, but that's probably not uh, we probably do not get enough lime out of that. We can also convert eggshells to lime and fossil. And that's, that's about it. Um, and of course, every once in a while, we get a bit of uh, lime out of the printer here. So every time that happens, we will gladly take it. And we... Yeah. Okay. Um. Right. Um. We assigned that one to uh, uh, Nails, just to get him out of here. So, 
so dead. Nothing bad happens. Bad like in uh, people dying. And maybe for the time being, just let's put up two more of these bed here. I have a feeling. Okay. This one also overheats. So let's. What do we need? This one. Yeah, we need that one for those down here. So let's deconstruct this one. And if we create. That one out of gold amalgam. That should be fine. Right. So. Power transformer. This one. Gold amalgam. Yeah. Um. And then once everything is uh, done, we probably need to fill up uh, the water once again. Because every time we open up here, steam goes out and condenses on this side into water. So we lose a bit of steam slash water that is in here. We are making a bit of uh, progress. One is already built. Um, this one could be built. We have the steel delivered. There we're waiting for the steel. And also here. So let's check up on our volcano, which is still just idle. So, presently, we have three duplicants that are just lay laying around getting battle. Um, so, that does not necessarily help uh, making, making progress. Down here we can see the steam vent is active again. And uh, we get a bit more water here on this side as well. The water geyser um, is still dormant. How are we looking uh, temperature wise in here? Around zero degrees, it's okay. Up here we are around 10 degrees. Um, what is the preferred Temperature range for the Dracos. Um, living, so for them it's a bit cold. So maybe we went a bit too much overboard with the uh, cooling down here. So let's replace all these these upper radiant pipes with uh, isolated pipes. Um, we can also switch out this wall with normal wall. Just doing a bit of uh, cleaning up. Then here on this side
let's lower the lower threshold further so because we really want to use the natural gas generators over the petroleum generators and then looking down here we have pretty much emptied out our uh, petroleum reserves so maybe it's time to dig in to uh, put the other one over here um, this side we have quite a bit of uh, uh, fossil reservoir so let's see that we can reach that one as well and they are once again at work in here okay second one is built We have the steel delivered. Okay. Um, yep. Another ancient duplicant, but uh, this bit is taken care of. So let's not yet set this up. Actually we can, because we need to have the water uh, to cool down, um, so the uh, all the steam condenses, and then we can actually close up here again. No luck with the, with the volcano, but made a bit of progress here on that side. Um, have another oil pump on here and then let's just use this Then, if I have a look at the at the wire, we might already be uh, over the potential load, so we probably should think about switching up the wire with conductive wire, so we can have a higher load on it, and then we can also hook up this oil well over here. Alright, then let's dig in. We are a bit more than halfway done. Steel is delivered here. We're missing it uh, on this side but only Nisbet is uh, being sick so we should see some progress soon um, take the purple 
make barbecue out of it and I think soon we shall have a pop wool farm somewhere up here they can eat regolith and regolith that's the stuff that rains down from space so that's an easy supply of food and uh, while they do not really produce anything that we need um, we can harvest them for their meat so that's the the basic plan with the pop walls okay and let's break into here because there is another neural ventilator it can give us some uh, neat additional traits so whom shall we send here let's let's have a look at Might be a good candidate. Okay. Bend him and do inspect. Much. Okay. What do have we got? Reduced air consumption. That's a nice one. Especially a nice one early on when you're struggling with uh, with having uh, enough uh, oxygen for for your duplicates. Okay, now we also have the steel delivered here, and it's only a matter of time um, for those to get constructed. And of course, this one still idle. Um, Dig out this whole area. Okay, the uh, scolding warning tells me they are working here. So the third one is built. last one um, we should disable these two uh, pumps which provide the uh, warm oxygen for uh, in here uh, because first we want to set up the, the cooling system again otherwise we will have another problem 
So maybe increase um, priority here. have a bit of uh, high pressure in here so duplicates do not like that which causes uh, high stress and if uh, stress goes above 100 then we really have a problem okay that's just the remainder of the, uh, the air that was in there. Um, probably should have enabled those a bit earlier because now they are running out of oxygen, which does add to, uh, to the stress factor. Yep, so I think now we're we're good here. We can deconstruct this spotlight here and close up again. Go for it! Yeah, I know it's a bit toasty. You can do it. Nice! So, ball back in. Yeah, go at it. Almost. You could have done it. All right. That is fixed. So let's enable uh, these pumps once again. Then we shall see uh, how the air is cooled down to almost zero degrees and this should help greatly with the uh, oxygen supply here in the base. So uh, we averted one other major disaster. And I think I will try to skip a few um, few cycles again, um, so we can actually tackle the project with the uh, iron volcano next, unless another catastrophe happens. So hope you enjoyed this emergency fix episode, and join me next time when we hopefully can deal with the iron volcano once and for all. Goodbye!